What we're going to do here is we're going to demonstrate how a furnace, a gas furnace, reacts when there's no airflow. And it's going to limit out, which means it's going to shut off its burners. But let's take a look at what we've got here. Now this furnace is, it's just a test mule, it's just temporarily hooked up. But you can see I've got a piece of sheet metal up here placed over the plenum and with blocks on it to hold it down so that's going to reduce the airflow to almost nothing. So I'm going to fire this thing up and we'll watch it run and I want to note the different things that are happening when this thing does go out on limit. Okay, now the inducer just come on. Uh, hot service diner is going to come on and it's going to light the burners here in a minute. Okay, burners are on. You can see the little blue flames down there. And after about a 30 second time delay, the fan motor is going to come on. Now, because we have the, the duct blocked off, it's not going to be getting enough air through there to run safely. So the furnace is going to limit out. Hear your fan come on. Now it's going to run for a while. I'm going to kind of short circuit this thing and so you don't have to wait, but I will give you a time until it kicks out. Okay, it has shut off. You can see the uh, the blue lights gone there. It's been about now well, a minute and a half. wasn't very long. So now it's going to sit there and operate with just the fan running. The only thing this is going to shut off is the burners. And in some cases, it shuts off the inducer. This one here, the inducer continues to run. So what's happened? The furnace has shut down because it overheated. So the only thing it shuts off is the burners. It doesn't shut off the fan. Doesn't doesn't usually shut off the inducer. Some of them still do, but they shut off the uh, burners themselves because it's unsafe to operate. Now it's going to run until the temperature gets back down. You know the fan's just going to run without the burner until the temperature gets back down to a safe temperature, and it's going to start off normally. The uh, in the IFC right down there is going to blink a code and I'm not going to take you down the code or nothing like that but uh, it's going to blink a code saying uh, over temp temperature over heat. It'll cycle back on as soon as the furnace has cooled down enough for the burners to come back on. Now, this is a dangerous condition from the point of view of furnace longevity and safety. I mean, they do shut off as they should, but it's still, that's not so good. You don't want these furnaces doing this. If they do limit out, you gotta fix it. You gotta figure out what's wrong. Okay, that's pretty much it on the limiting out furnace.